Hi everyone, my name is Lillian and welcome to my channel Alpha Genesis. I'm joined by my friend and colleague here, Trey. Trey is a student at my graduate program and we're doing a video series on applying to PhD programs. This is a part of a video series where we're going to be talking about our experiences with applying to graduate school and helping you apply to programs. So today we're going to be talking about starting, starting the, the applications. applications. All right, so Trey. Yeah. How would you say you should start this process? Uh, you know, uh, take a deep breath. <laughs> you know, inhale, exhale. Um, it's going to be okay. You know, it looks like a lot. You may be stressed out, but it's, it's going to be fine. You're going to you're going to yes. do it all. Yeah. And the reason Trey And on time too. <laughs> you're going to get your, you're going to get them on, you're going to get them in on time. And the reason Trey, you know, started us off with this yeah. is because something that may be very different than what you're used to is that graduate school applications are not a common application. No. Each graduate program has their own application for things, which means you're not just going to write one essay and then it'll go to all the schools, but you have to write multiple essays and realize that there's a possibility that, you know, you'll have to change your main essay up, which is something we'll be talking about mm. later on in the series. Mm. With regards to how I started, I think what was helpful for me after I had my list of which graduate programs I wanted to apply to was I looked through all of the applications first because because it's not a common app yeah. and the applications are going to look... <laughs> Hello, Fly. Yeah, someone crashed the party. He mm. wants to apply to graduate school. Mm, two. He wants to because it's not a common app, each application is going to look very different. and. Some of the programs just ask for a statement of purpose and for you to fill out basic information. Yeah. And some had a lot of essays and also fellowship applications and things like that. So I think the very first thing you should really look at is how the applications differ, differ mm. for school. And uh, yeah, I agree with that. That's really good advice. And also, it may, be, it may help you prioritize which applications to start first if, if some have more requirements than others. And then, you know, when you get all of this information, I think the, the best thing you can do is organize yourself um, and find a centralized place where you can store all this information that's easily accessible. Kind of um, like college apps, Yeah, right? kind of like <laughs> co college apps. And Excel is probably a good, you know, place to start if you don't have other places. And just, you know, listing all the programs that you're applying to, what they're requiring of you, um, when all the due dates are, and all all necessary basically all necessary information um to help you you know stay focused and um organized <laughs> sorry yeah <laughs> i don't know yeah. that's, little, that's exactly yeah just I helping recorded. you stay organized awesome everyone so this is the end of this video it's pretty short just after you have your list take a look at your applications and organize thanks, thanks for, for watching, watching.